Hey, welcome back, everyone, for some more of my uh, t Austria 2022 FIFA World Cup tournament mode here in FIFA 23. And we are in the World Cup final. We are going to be going up against Sweden. But before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. You can see Alaba and Kulusevski facing off against each other. Forsberg getting a hat trick in his last game. Um, Trimble ended up getting injured for us in the game against um, Morocco. But without further ado, we're going to go straight into this match here. This is our first World Cup final here with Austria. We are keeping kits the way are where they are right now. Should we lift? Uh, should we win the tr uh, the uh, World Cup? Alaba will be lifting the trophy. Ibrahimovic will li lift it for them. Should they win? But he is their starting striker alongside Clayson and Kulusevski up front. Forsberg, Svanberg, and Ekdal make up the midfield, and the defense consists of Augustinsson, Lindelof, L Nielsen, and Kraft with Olsen in goal. So without further ado, one of these two nations are going to win their first ever World Cup. You can see Arnautovic warming up. You can see Sibitsa in the background there. Kulosevsky warming up for Sweden. But here we are, the World Cup Final in Lucille Stadium, Austria versus Sweden. The birthplace of Arnold Schwarzenegger versus the birthplace of ABBA. As we kick things off here. Lima making the run. Should have been a foul on Arnautovic there, but... Seibold once again! Just pushes it wide. You can see he's frustrated with himself. But once again, the, his offensive awareness has been mint in this tournament. Sonatovich. And he scores the first goal here in this final. If Saivald would have scored earlier, that would have been his eighth goal of the tournament. Nice steal by by Schlager. Okay. Would have thought Olsen would have came out for that, but...
Okay, Limer. Leading the attack again. Sabitzer! <laughs> I don't know who that was that went flying, but surely that, that did not feel good for them. Sweden just giving away the ball now. We are gonna go ahead and jump to the sim. Okay, let's see who is on Sweden's bench for this game. Nordfeld, Starfeld. I don't know who Starfeld is. Carlson, Quason, Sundgren, Kayuste, and Hugoda in there. That's, they got to score. Yep. Not a good goal to concede, guys. Not a good goal to concede. Okay, Anatovic. Our, our players are losing the ball way too easily. Anatovic, you had Saival there on the right-hand side. He was by himself. Yeah, we are losing the ball way too easily. Yeah, Clayson is absolutely torching this on this left-hand side. We just conceded a, a penalty here. Yep. Boy, you're pissing this one away, guys. If you guys would learn how to freaking hold on to the ball. You know, come on, guys. I can't wait for this half to be over. This our team is performing absolutely disgusting so far. As soon as we get the ball, we can't attack without losing the ball. We can't pass without losing the ball. We can't touch the ball without losing the ball. It's like this team forgot how to play football and it's freaking not making me happy. Even though almost a left back, I want liner off. Wow, okay. Sweden kinks things off. Our entire back line has been woeful. We lose the ball again. Yeah, we can't. How are we supposed to get anything going when we can't hold on the ball from longer than three seconds? Clayson gets his second of the match. I've never seen a team as soft on the ball as what this Austrian side is. There's no way Sweden is that much stronger than we are much... Look, we lost the ball again. Seibold whipping it in. Easy save by Olsen.
Savard. Guys, what are we doing? Did, number Anarovic was wide open. Of course. Come on, can we do something with the ball? Oh, this is doing my head in. Okay, forcing a save out of from Olsen. Okay, oh, come on, guys. Okay, I'm jumping in. Now I'm just hanging on to the ball now. This is one of the most insipid performances of any team I've ever played with on here. This team is just so soft on the ball. And I could even sense that even in the game, especially with Limer along the right hand side. This team is just way too soft. They get pushed off the ball way too easily. But anyway, we are just going to get past stoppage time here. And Austria is going to win their first ever World Cup title. In rather unimpressive fashion, if I do say so myself. But yeah, I do. I did manage to push this team over the line, but this team is just too soft. They really are. I've never seen a team getting bullied when they're on the ball and losing it as much as what this team has. As David Alaba will be lifting the trophy, the former Bayern Munich player, they're currently playing for Real Madrid. And there we go, Austria are world champions. Yeah, that was kind of a horrific game. I'm, I'm curious to see what the stats are. I wonder how many times did we lose possession in this game? Well, of course, they won't show that, but... Yeah, this was not... We got more possession, but this was not a good game. We were equal in dribble success rate and shooting accuracy. We had better passing accuracy. They had more tackles, they had more tackles won, they made more saves, and had more penalties. See, the stats show that this was kind of one-sided towards us, but it really wasn't. Man of the match goes to Lima with his goal and two assists. Arnautovic with two goals, Sabitzer with a goal, and Seibald with an assist. You see Forsberg with two assists for... Sweden, Clayson with two goals, Ibrahimovic with a penalty. So Forsberg assisted on both Clayson goals. Ibra, of course, scored from the penalty spot. But yeah, not a really impressive way to end this tournament mode. I'm I'm happy that I was able to get Austria over the line to uh, lead them to World Cup glory, but I've played much better World Cup finals, and I've seen much better teams than this Austrian side. Yeah, that was not good. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the news. Arnautovic netting a brace. Team of the tournament, Leinart. I, I said Leinart, but I think it's supposed to be Leinart. Uh, Baumgartner, 
Sagard and Arnautovic make the team in the tournament. Neuer getting uh, goalkeeper ahead of uh, the tournament ahead of Lintner. Forsberg getting player of the tournament. David Oliver posing with the World Cup trophy as Austria take the FIFA World Cup 2022 home. You see Arnautovic's quarterly performances. But I can honestly say none of our players really, other than maybe Seivald and Baumgartner, deserve any praise. As Seivald ends up leading the uh, goal scoring race, seven goals and seven. Arnautovic, six goals and six. Mertens getting uh, the most assists ahead of Arnautovic and Limer and Baumgartner. And I say ahead because he got four assists in four matches, whereas everybody else got five, six, and seven. Lintner tied with most clean sheets of Neuer, though Neuer got player of the goalkeeper of the tournament, I should say. But yeah, this... Oh, what can I say about this Austrian side? And yeah, a national team that has talent on their squad, it's just... I don't know, like I, said, like I just said, other than Seinwald and Baumgartner, nobody really on this team covered themselves much with glory. Well, M Lintner, he did get three clean sheets, so I do have to give him props for that, but... This team just was not all that great, if I'm being honest. I hate saying that because I was looking forward to playing on this Austrian side, but they really were un unspectacular, and especially in that World Cup final. They just I've never seen a team get that gets pushed off the ball as easily as what this team did, and that really did my head in. So hopefully the next team I'll be playing as won't be like that, which I will say the next team I'm going to be playing with it is a team that qualified in real life, and it is not a team from Europe. So those are the only things I'm going to say about the next team I'm going to be playing as. But as far as this team, yeah, I, I, I mean, like I said in the first episode of this, they had a tough act to, po to follow with the pool in tournament mode, but while this team left a lot to be desired, if I'm being honest, and yeah, it's a shame because I wanted to, this was a nation that I really was looking forward to playing with, but they just just, for the most part, very underwhelming, and I was fortunate enough to lead this team to World Cup glory because if I had to leave it to themselves, they probably would fall flat on their faces, which is a shame because this team does have talented players, but just you just get to see a whole lot of it in this tournament mode, unfortunately. But um, but that will be it for this tournament mode. Hopefully, you'll be hopefully you guys looking forward to the next the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.